Okay, so I just wanted to show you, Andy goes into calculating effect size. Um, you can actually estimate effect size in SPSS, um, and you can, um, if you're interested in that and how to do that, if you look on page 444, the very top, it talks about a self-test. So you run the analysis, and then you will notice on your output, let me see if I have it, because I think I ran it just so I could find it, this partial eta squared um, which you will get, whoops, sorry, for your test of between subjects, all right, and your parameter estimates as well is going to give you your effect sizes, all right, so that's one option you can do. All right, but I just want to go back here, and this is how you would report your results, and where do you get the numbers from you, so your test of between subjects effects um, is going to be, I think it's the third table on the output, so the covariate love of puppies was significantly related to a person's happiness. And we have our F value, and we've got 1, all right, and we've got 26. And our F value is 4.96 right here. And our P value is equal to 0 0.035. So that's telling us that puppy love is significantly related to the person's happiness. There was also a significant effect of puppy therapy on levels of happiness after controlling for the effect of puppies. So this here tells us, here's my F, 2, 26, and 4.14 is my F value, and this is my probability value. And it's telling us when we controlled for the love of puppies, there was still a significant um, effect on um, happiness. So then we did contrasts, and remember your contrast had to do with your parameter estimates, so planned contrast revealed, because now we're looking at, we know that there's a dose response. Having 30 minutes of puppy therapy significantly increased happiness compared to having the control. So here's my T value, and this is dose 1. So my T is 26, because there's 26 people. It, uh, you don't see that number in here, um, but it's 26 people in the study. And we've got negative 2.77, and here's my probability value. But there was not a significant difference in means of happiness between 15 minutes and 30 minutes, which was dose 2. All right, and I put my green box back up here so you could be reminded of that. So my T is negative 0.54, and here's my probability value. And so that's how you would report the results. Andy goes into um, giving you effect size. I'm not going to worry about effect size at this point. So that's how you would report your results.